<coughs> All right, thanks very much. Is this uh, is it working here now? You can you hear me, everybody? Yep, right. I'm John Eden, the CEO of Discovery Garden, and uh, I want to thank everybody for uh, uh, giving us this opportunity. And I want to introduce Mark Leggett for those of you. There might be a couple who don't know who Mark is. Uh, Mark with UPEI was uh, in Discovery Garden and Island Ore was instrumental in, uh, in getting us this opportunity to host this great event next year. So. Uh, my name is John. <laughs> uh, my bright blue friend is going to translate from Canadian to English for me. Oh, okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'll try and keep it. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll try and keep my accent to. I didn't a tell him, uh, but <laughs> Mark will translate anything that uh, needs to be done. So first of all, one of the questions we get about Prince Edward Island: Where are we? Uh, first of all, it's Canada, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And if uh, you can barely break it out there, we see we're a tiny little green spot here. And if we're part of what's known as the maritime. So if I break it down even further, it's a little easier. And you can see we're now red. We went from green to red here. And we look much bigger if you blow up the map. Uh, <laughs> but, we, but we are very tiny. Um, I purposely showed the uh, airline routes that are uh, in there, and I uh, thought I'd talk about a few common questions we have. Sorry, sorry, sorry. To, just to translate, PEI is at the center of the universe. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> For those of us from there, we do believe that. Uh, can I walk from one end of the island to the other? People do ask that all the time, and the answer is no. Uh, well, yes, feasibly you could, but you're not going to do it in a day, and you're not going to enjoy it. Uh, <laughs> uh, how many people live there? There's not a lot. There's uh, about 145,000 uh, people live in uh, Prince Edward Island. That's actually more than it was. We're one of the few places that's uh, actually growing. We have net migration, so that's great. Uh, another question people always ask is, do jellyfish sting? What is that? We actually have some of the warmest waters. So when you come, you can actually bring your suit. Uh, you can, uh, people swim, and it's, uh, it's a little bit like once you're in, you get used to it. Uh, but in July, you don't have to be in as long to get used to it. Uh, and yeah. And uh, what else do we have? Yes, you can fly there. There are direct flights from Toronto, Montreal, Halifax, and Ottawa. And that's year round with Air Canada and WestJet. And I heard that there's a third airline about to do this uh, as well. Uh, it would also come out of Toronto, so the same city. And uh, Delta has a uh, direct in the summer from New York City. So next year, in July, when this is held, you're going to be able to, uh, to, to possibly do it in two jumps. I know that's important. So if you can, wherever you are now, if you can get from your place to one of those locations, you can get to uh, Charlottetown in just two jumps. Uh, book your flight early, early, or the jellyfish will sting you in the ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, and Air Canada, who was the primary uh, carrier, uh, there's no one from WestJet here, is there? So Air Canada really is the primary carrier, in, uh, as far as size anyway, in Canada, uh, has indicated that it'll add flights as necessary. And uh, so they've got, they always do that around events. Um, to speak to that point, one of the things about the conference is that we, because of uh, booking, we will, be, uh, uh, we will be working diligently to make sure that we get things up online so that you know the itinerary and so on as soon as possible so that you'd be able to make your decisions as soon as possible and get the bookings done. Uh, send John your checks for travel and he will book them for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other thing you can do is you can drive. If you can't get there in two jumps and you can get to like Moncton or another city nearby, whatever, you can always drive. This is, uh, you won't be landlocked when you get there. Uh, we are connected, uh, the mainland as we say, as Canada is connected to us. Uh, by <laughs> it's, it's, it's about <laughs> it, it's uh, eight miles long. Uh, it took two and a half years to build. You see it, and uh, it's only been shut down to actual cars like two or three times since it's been open, which was in '94. And that was because of weather for short periods of time. Uh, and right in the very middle, boats go underneath, 64 meters high. I just realized I'm using meters and miles. This is the highest point in PEI and also our official roller coaster. <laughs> uh, we are a tourism destination. Uh, I'll give you a little, very briefly a little bit about PEI. Agriculture, farming, fishing, traditional industries, as it is in most small islands anywhere around the world, you'll find that that's primarily the main things. Uh, we uh, about 
oh, two decades ago, started getting into aerospace. Software has become large, bioresources, all growing sectors. Tourism, though, is our third largest sector. We get a million visitors a year. Remember, we only have 145,000, so that's a big influx of people. And uh, we get overwhelming majority of that in a three-month period, to June to September. So what that means is that we have a lot to do there. Uh, we have way more stuff than a place our size should have. Uh, we have 30-plus golf courses. Many of them are uh, championship caliber. Uh, we have boat tours, deep sea fishing. Uh, we have a culinary institute. Uh, which uh, has led to a robust restaurant scene and will be, uh, will be a factor in the event we'll be putting on. We have live theater, including Anne. I don't know if any of you haven't heard of Anne or not, but we're actually the home of Anne of Green Gables, that plucky redhead. Uh, <laughs> and, and festivals, there's one just about every weekend. Uh, there will be alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be hard to top this one. You have so much history. It's a beautiful city, and uh, we'll add our flavor to it. We don't have castles, uh, but as they say, we do have our own charm. And hopefully this will play, and we can actually show you. Which one? So a free OR registration to the person who knew, knows what that guy was doing in the boat. You can't be from, <laughs> you can't be from PEI. The, the, the one shot where there was a boat, in, where there was video of a boat and there was a man in it, what was he doing? Sorry? <laughs> Boating. Boating. <laughs> Damn, he got it. <laughs> free registration. Who said that? Yeah. Sorry. He was uh, he was uh, fishing for oysters. So let, see me after, and I'll get your name. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. If I grew up in North Carolina. We do the same. Oh. <laughs> Definitely excluded. So we're uh, combined the University of Prince Edward Island and Discovery Garden. Extremely excited to have this opportunity. We'll make sure your experience is a great one when you go back. This could be your uh, photo album. We saw Anne, eight lobster just pulled from the sea, gone fishing, hanging at the beach, a beautiful walk ruined for those of you. <laughs> and uh, Alan Stanley, who's an actual kayak enthusiast and teacher and so on, and, uh, uh, and is here as uh, will attest. We'll make sure that you're exhausted from kayaking if that's what you wish. There will be alcohol. There will be alcohol. <laughs> So you can uh, drop by our booth, the concourse, over in the Alpham Tower later this <coughs> afternoon. Again, tomorrow a chance to win. We have uh, an opportunity there and win another free registration. Uh, we've got a lot of great uh, support from the province already. They've got, uh, because we do this a lot, there's going to be a heavy emphasis on a partners program. Uh, and so we'll be getting a lot of support from them, and we'll be putting information up on the website, which we'll put up even as a placeholder before even some of the 
conference information, just some more about the location and so on, so you can make plans. So anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for the opportunity and the opportunity for us to talk about it today. Thank you. <laughs>